Belize is an ideal destination for nature lovers, divers, and adventure seekers. It is located between the Caribbean Sea and the rainforest on the eastern coast of Central America. Belize with a population of less than 400,000 attracts more than 1.5 million visitors and scuba divers from all around the world. Honestly, we didn't know much about the country until we started planning a trip to Mexico and decided to visit Belize too. It turned out to be one of the best travel experiences we have ever had. In this video, I'm going to share the things you need to know before visiting Belize. You don't need a visa to visit Belize. If you are American, British, Canadian, Australian, or an EU citizen, you don't need a tourist visa to enter Belize. But if you plan to stay longer than 180 days, you have to apply for a visa. Although a tourist visa is not required, you must hold the passport valid for at least six months on entry with one blank visa page. You might also need to show your return ticket and proof of sufficient fund relative to your intended length of stay. Is Belize safe to visit? When it comes to traveling to Belize, most travelers are concerned about whether Belize is a safe country for tourists or not. Although Belize is a popular destination for holidaymakers, backpackers, divers, and adventure seekers, it is not the safest country in the world. A quick search on the internet shows that Belize has one of the highest rates of homicides and there have been armed gas operations in densely forested areas, particularly around the Guatemala border. But usually tourists are not the targets of gang violence and violent crime. So, we believe that Belize is safe as long as you travel smart and do your own research. Usually the muggings occur in Belize city, but they can happen anywhere in the country. So avoid walking alone in dark valleys, don't accept leaves from strangers, and keep your valuables out of sight. Based on our personal experience, we never felt unsafe during our trip to Belize, particularly in the islands of San Pedro and Keikake. How to get to Belize there are direct flights from Canada and the US to Belize city. But this is not the case if you are in Europe or in the UK. Currently, the fastest way to get to Belize from the UK is to have a night stopover in one of the American gateway cities. This might not be a great option since you will be on the way for more than 24 hours. The other option is to go to Mexico and then visit Belize. Traveling from Mexico, particularly Yucatan to Belize, is quite simple. Many European travelers and backpackers combine these two destinations in one trip. It is common to travel overland from Mexico to Belize city by bus or private car. However, the most convenient and fastest way to get to Belize city from Cancun is to fly. This is what we did. We took a flight with Tropic Air and it took us only one hour and a half to land in Belize city. When to travel to Belize The best time to travel to Belize is during the dry season from late November to mid-April. Keep in mind that December and January is the peak season. If you want to avoid the crowds, you should visit Belize in February when you can enjoy warm temperatures and clear skies and have easy access to the main attractions. The wet season runs from May to December. You probably want to pass on visiting during May and June, when humidity levels and temperatures are really high. English is the official language of Belize. Since the country shares border with the Spanish-speaking countries of Mexico and Guatemala, it might come as a surprise to you that English is the official language of Belize. That's because Belize was a British colony for more than a century. Belize is the only English-speaking country in Central America. But many Belizeans are multilingual, and Spanish is another common language in Belize. Money in Belize the Belizean dollar is the official currency of the country, and it is pegged to the US dollar. This means you don't need to worry about conversion rates. Basically, one US dollar is equal to two Belizean dollars. Almost all hotels, restaurants, shops, tour companies, and taxis accept US dollars. 
Some might even ask the Visa and MasterCard. But it's better to have cash with you. You can find ATMs accepting international cards in big cities and islands. Keep in mind that the Belizean dollar is normally abbreviated with the dollar sign, which can be really confusing. Based on our observation, the prices of food in the restaurants are usually in Belizean dollars but tour companies use US dollars. If you're not sure whether the price is in Belizean dollar or US dollar, just ask. Where to stay in Belize? Most likely you will arrive in Belize city and will start your trip around the country from here. There is not much to do in Belize city, but it can be a great place if you have an early or late flight. Plus, from Belize city, you can take different tours to visit some attraction on the mainland and the forest area. The most popular places to stay in Belize are the islands. Let's not forget that Belize is home to the second largest barrier reef in the world and it is an ideal place for scuba diving and snorkeling. Kekakir is a small island just an hour boat ride from Belize city. This island is popular amongst backpackers. There are different types of accommodation for any budget. San Pedro is the most popular tourist destination in Belize. There are many bars, restaurants, cafes, and hotels. San Pedro can be a great base for divers. Corozal on the mainland close to the Mexican border is a great place to stay to enjoy sandy beaches and visit Mayan ruins. How to get around Belize? The best ways to get around Belize are by plane and water taxis. Domestic airlines like Tropic Air and Maya Island Air fly small planes to major towns and islands in Belize. These airlines also offer international flights to Mexico, Guatemala, and Honduras. Water taxis and ferries are the most affordable way to travel to popular tourist destinations such as San Pedro, Cape Cocker, and St. George Cay. Belizean food I can describe Belizean food in one simple word. Delicious! One of the staples of food in Belize is rice and beans, which are often served with meat, potatoes, and vegetables. Belizean seafood is amazing too. I highly recommend trying Belizean shrimps. We have eaten different types of food with shrimps there, and they were all wonderful. Wi-Fi and Internet in Belize Internet works fine in main towns and popular tourist destinations. All hotels, restaurants, cafes, and bars offer free Wi-Fi. Perhaps the best way to stay online is to purchase a local SIM card. There are two main phone operators in Belize, Digicel and Smart. With the local SIM card, you will have an internet connection almost everywhere in the country, except in some remote areas. Activities and tours in Belize One of the best activities in Belize are scuba diving and snorkeling. The waters are clear and warm, offering opportunities to swim with sharks, turtles, stingrays, dolphins, and sometimes manatees. If you are not a diver and still you want to swim with sharks, you can take a snorkeling tour which takes you to Holchan Marine Reserve and Shark Ray Alley. Belize is also home to the Great Blue Hole. You can go diving there or you can take a flight and see this wonderful landmark from above. Apart from water sports, there are plenty of cultural and adventure activities and tours from zip lining to visiting Mayan ruins. I leave the links to the tours in the description of this video. I hope you enjoyed this video and have a great trip to Belize. Same as always, thanks for watching and see you in the next video.